Hello everybody out there here from the Game Channel. Welcome back to Red Flood. It has been a while, but we're here and we're playing as the Russian Empire. Who right now, I'm guessing, has... Well, they have mostly got control of Russia with everyone else being puppets right now. Don't really know what's going to happen, but I know that we're only able to do one focus to begin with, and that's the aftermath of the November strike. So yeah, let's hop into that. Factory-wise, we have 25. So that's like a great war area tanks, fantastic. Uh, the bombers can go in the bin. Do we have cast? Nope. Uh, why are we so... Like... Well, I'll just underdeveloped. I mean, under-researched is probably a better way of putting it. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let's just go one on you. Yeah, that's fine. How many research slots have we got? Three. Not ideal, but we'll start off with the usual start. So, I think the last thing I played, played Red Flood was, um, State Division's not bad, was with, um, with Japan, and that was thoroughly enjoyable. I really did enjoy that. because I like nice rounded numbers. There we go. Right, what's over? Oh, let's get the new. Do you know what? I'm really not going to finish what you've got planned. It can. We only have three dockyards. Half of this can go in the bin. You can change your convoys. We'll go two and one, and then we'll go like that. There we go. And we'll just make sure that they are spawning in Petrograd. For the time being. And all my divisions are coming back here. Which is good. Right, so I don't really know the lore behind why Russia is how it is. But uh, at least we've still got uh, Wrangell, Denikin. There's Capel as well. Okay, we've got some, we've got some alright guys there. I'm probably going to... Oh. Since those disaster strikes were called by the Workers' Councils last November... There's been an uneasy tension between our legitimate government and dumb foreign workers. The strikes were, of course, broken down by our brave police forces. Many of the ringleaders were arrested for illegal striking by the Supreme Leader. But the Supreme, sorry, but the Supreme Leader has taken personal interest in the affair, declaring that the schism between the government and the workers must be mended by any means necessary. The proposal put forward by Kolchak's council, one which suggested we complete the crackdowns we should have done in November with arresting more of the organising workers, one which suggests releasing this volatile leaders and allowing the workers to come to reform, albeit under state supervision. Um, no, we're, we're gonna, yeah, sorry, finish them off. We don't have any care in the world for them. So we're gonna dismiss Nick, Nick Volodov. Whoever General Nick Volodov's credentials is overt anti-Semitism in collaboration with the extreme factions of Black Hundreds is unacceptable as state army officer. Okay, he's being dealt with then. That is fine. So yeah, Kolchak's in charge now. Don't know how long he's really going to be sticking around for. We don't have some great stuff here either. Training time plus 50%. That is not great at all. Let's do the anti-socialist campaign, which gains the OSBG concessions, which also hurts us for 90 days. But oh well. This is what it is. So we're in volunteer only. Export focus. Civilian economy. Right, that's fine. Military staff, we don't have any. I guess we have some stuff in there, that's fine. You know what's happened in the world? Aristocrats take Madagascar. Okay, cool. I don't really, has this had an update since I last played it? I, I presume so. Still remember when the UK declared war and made the fools. It's Japan that is. The fools. I wonder what America's gonna get up to. And the prohibition continues with enforcement. America is a sober nation. Yeah, they restarted the alcohol trade. So what is plan civil war? Okay, nice crime grade oppression, the dust bowl, land of the free, impoverished military. 
Now, Prohibition is not doing that much damage to them. I think that the Japanese go into a civil war at some point, so that's going to be interesting to see. That should be happening very soon. Yeah, some nice black hundreds parties. Let's go ahead and do that. 14 days. I don't know if we're going to end up at war with other people. I, I have a funny feeling we probably will. Just having a wee look around to see who's in charge of everybody. Oh, there's Kornilov there. Oh, just looking down here's a mess. Uh, Kerensky's there. We will want to kill him at some point. Preferably before he gets too strong as well. Right. Investigate striker Republican connections. Indeed, the Republicans are snakes. That is what we're looking Oh, my fleet's joined in. So if we're looking at the Japan focus tree. Let me have a wee look. The will of the people. No. No will of the people. What did I do again? I proclaimed the Japanese Empire. That's what I done. So they'll be working down here right now. Yeah, the mad Japanese negotiations. They've definitely done that. Ah, there's the Japanese Civil War. Which means they pull out of our mainland China. Civil War breaks out in the east. Can't really see how many divisions each of them have got, but we'll see who wins that. I don't really know who would prefer to win that because we do have North Sakhalin to re-secure, I think, at some point. So, despite thorough investigation by experienced secret police, there was little of substance connected to Republican elements in the various parties with the more socialist strikers. A few connections were little more than individual liberal politicians speaking up against police brutality or declaring that a dialogue must be opened with the strikers. Well, certainly, uh, treasonous and anti-Russian behaviour punish them won't totally end the Republican movement. Um, I'm still going to punish them because I can. <laughs> that's that's not my whole reasoning behind that. Increase naval budget. Do we really need to increase the naval budget of all things to be doing right now? Yeah, we knew that was going to happen because they should have their independence now. Yeah. We have. And that war is going to continue, so we'll see. We'll see who wins that. Saigon military clique get pushed up with the United Anti Japanese Front. Terminal velocity. I remember doing the Celtic State, which I didn't completely finish because I think it broke. Maintaining the regime. Yeah, I don't care for any of that. I don't care. As long as we get to Germany at some point and we can kill them. Oh, yes, I forgot it's Goebbels. It's weird seeing him as a happy, smiley fellow. Don't like that. Uh, hungry. Who, wait. Who's. Oh, that's Hungary's flag. We also got Luxembourg, Brazil's with them. So is Cuba. Sorry, I'm kind of re familiarizing myself with stuff. Sweden, Norway, but they don't control Norway. The North Atlantic People's Council and Norwegian military government. So why are you called Sweden, Norway? Oh well, Finland looks like they've got. So many borders. <laughs> so many borders to cover. Oh no. It's Engelbert Dolphus. Wait, so have they done away with. No, they haven't. There he is right there. Fa oh. Famine over here. That's not good. Where are you even going to get up to, Kerensky? Kerensky resigns. Comrade Trotsky. Hero we deserve. Who the hell is, is that? Is that Makno? I have no idea who that is. Military Commissar Vladivostok. Oh no, imagine if they joined Britain. No, don't do that. Wait, if that is the last thing we're needing, I'm not wanting to fight them straight off the bat. 
Naval exercise in the med. What are we doing? I know we've got cold check, but stop stop doing stuff for the navy. We don't we don't care for it. Right, so let's promote you, Wrangle. You can be our uh, field marshal once again. Right, let's be our fire forward, please. What are our um, divisions like so far? Well, that's just atrocious. <laughs> oh no. They're exactly the same. What? Right, we'll have to sort that out in a minute. Right, the summer vacation. Yalta. Why do I have a funny feeling the cold track's probably going to end up dying? Right, Denikin can be our first general. Then we'll take the Dragomirov. And then Kabel. Sort it and we'll do it with that. Oh. Okay. Uh, Sternberg's got a little bit of a problem here then. Can't see how many divisions, so we have no idea what's going to happen. <clears throat> the Czechoslovak Kingdom. JKV Roman 1. Uh, the first, sorry. <laughs> Why do you have so many? Oh. That is, that is not good at all. Jeez. We're guaranteed by Italy. I can remember playing as all. I'm definitely playing as the Austrians as well because I went for uh, everyone's favorite mustache man. Ah. Our straight reparation. That's good. Planning for the vacation. Finally, I've finished most of my business. It is at hand. I have plenty of time to enjoy a vacation. I shall go to one of my properties away from Petrograd to relax myself in the cosmopolitan and gloomy weather here. There are several relaxing places I can visit on my vacation. All of them are different compared to Petrograd. But a somewhat closer destination might mean a safer journey, perhaps. Oh no, he's gonna die. <laughs> he is so gonna die. Like a dream. The Navy report on the X maneuvers. May I assume the future of Russia is bright like never before. Until he gets assassinated by a bomb going off. I feel like that's what's going to happen. He's going to get blown up. Or shot. One of the two. Right, none of you have any things to do right now. I need to get army experience. So exercise, please, men. I'm sure our hold on the countries is definitely going to collapse. What? The fate That fateful day in Yalta. Yeah, he can die. Uh, the vacation was everything Kolchak needed, and it's ended. And it's end aggravated him. He was fishing along the Black Sea, relaxing, nearly falling asleep to the sound of waves crashing the rocks. In a flash, a squad of loyal army officers grabbed him, rushed him for their car. They explained that they believed that Drogovsky was attempting to assassinate him. They had proof that anti Kolchak agents disguised as anarchists had already raided his ho vacation home and attempted to find him. Kolchak sighed, realizing that his short lived vacation was now over. As they drove through the streets of Yalta, they were trying to reach the evacuation point at the airport. The driver realized that we were being followed. As if a few shots rang from the following car, and the driver pedaled to the floor and began to swear. One of the officers in the back ordered Kolchak to get down as he swung a pistol to put forward and fired back, pretending the police car started to attempt to intercept the assaulter's vehicle. Rogovsky's assassins swerved off, and for a moment it looked like they were gone. When they arrived at the airport, Kolchak and his men ran to the plane parked at the car mark. On the way, the car from before burst through the gates, and the driver quickly pulled out his gun and opened fire at Kolchak. As the bullets sailed towards him, one thought crossed Kolchak's mind. Oh, I don't know what to choose. I'm going to do a wee save here so we can come back if I do not like where it goes if I uh, haven't been killed. Okay, it's time for him to die. So he died. Ivan Romanovsky is now in charge. The death of Alexander Kolchak. It's a heavy heart that I announced that Alexander Kolchak, the supreme leader of all Russia, is dead. Uh, Drozdovsky cleared over radio the news. Shocking. Wasn't he just on vacation? Yesterday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Kolchak and his men were attacked at the airport in Yalta by anarchists loyal to those bastards in Germany, and they were all killed in the ensuing firefight. This place I shall take over. This was believed by some, but challenge already coming off the woodworks. Ivan Romanovsky fell and declared that he had evidence that the anarchists were, in fact, agents of the Drozdovskys, and the people of Russia now need to rally against him and his regime. The military split right down the middle. On to support, the Navy had always been a pro-Kolchak 
stronghold as he has been a naval officer and invested heavily in the Ukrainian navy. May on the other hand strongly in favour of Jodovsky and many generals believe that sucking up time will be better for getting spent in the long run. These divisions are going to be influencing our politics for years to come it would seem. Oh no. They gain some more land there. Okay, time to mobilize our divisions. And get ready for war by the looks of things. The summer coup war. Change just no 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 no. Right, so after the attack on the Supreme Leader Kolchak has left the political climate unbelievably tense, armed groups are formed claiming their loyalty to either Kolchak's government of Jodovsky's and they've already clashed before over what happens to get them upset. Yeah, Mother Russia shall survive. Stop exercising. Don't push yet. We need to get in position. It's okay. I have all my puppets that I could maybe take land, uh, their divisions from. Yep, unless they start breaking away, which I wouldn't be shocked either. They won't support us in the war, so I'm literally covering this part of the front for no reason whatsoever. That's cool. Bring all your divisions. Actually, we don't need your ones. another 66 divisions get over there please oh I hate it when they reshuffle like this how many divisions you got so we get like a 20 to 94 oh dear this could actually be a pretty long fight. Oh, I'm not allowed to do any focuses. Hollow victory. I win the winds of change. Okay, it looks like we... Oh, yes, we do. Right, you can go in the bin. I've got more important stuff to be producing. I think for the most part our divisions are probably better. And with everyone's garbage divisions here to help, hopefully. We do have motorized divisions, so maybe we might be able to slip on in behind a lot of these guys. Where are they? Yeah, I want one of these to try and just go right across. Oh, I, don't want, I don't really want to grab any of that, then I'll save the political power. Do we have any motorized over here? Yes, yes we do. Your job is also to drive to the opposite side. So if we can cut off the north, that'll make our time so much more easier. We are the aggressors after all as well, so... Go us. Look at that cavalry division go. They're off. The Ugandan commune's risen up. It doesn't look like the motorized divisions are having as much success as I was really hoping for them to be having. Keep going, cavalry. I have faith. It's not even my cavalry division, but you've got this for Mother Russia. We do have some divisions just walking. Yeah, they, they are literally walking their way through. 
I didn't realize they had control of Moscow. There we go, they're cut off. Shall, shall we just take a wee wander down here now? And then just take a wee wander there as well. This is going pretty well. Um, oh, well, Jesus, that's way ahead of time. Get in there. They're going to have lost a lot of men once we've finished these encirclements off. Keep going, Division. I'll even get one of these guys to try and meet you halfway. Spanish Civil War. We wouldn't be a game of Hoi 4 with a Spanish Civil War. off on you go cavalry that's another encirclement there Moscow's still alive but definitely won't be for much longer divisions moving one of them just slip in there that'll put them off there's another wee group of guys being cut off. Yeah, I may have lost 120k, but this has went very well. Where's the capital now? Sevastopol. Oh, well, I know exactly what I need to do. I just literally need to drive right down there. There's a tank division straight down. And then I'll have cut them all off from the capital. Look, <laughs> we're just sneaking our way. Yeah, they're, that, that, they're all encircled. They, they, they're all encircled at this point. Oh, that is just tragic for you, isn't it? Draw that in there, draw that in there, draw one in there just so they're all attacking. <laughs> 11 to 30, 11 to 31 divisions left. That is awful. Went exactly to plan. Yeah, that they're they're getting killed off. Yeah, look at the look at the numbers just dropping. Our party wins the American general. Okay, six to sixteen divisions, and they're all in here. I want to kill off every last one of them for betraying us. We'll do this. We'll just just take a nice wee walk around. Sevastopol. Where all these guys just get finished off once and for all. Yeah, 
Come on, just kill them off, please. Come on. I want every last one of them to die. You're probably just thinking, dude, just finish the war already. But I just want to kill them all. Every last one of them needs to die. There we go. Sorted. And that, then you can get annexed straight back into the Glorious Empire. So you get for betraying me. Perfect. Right, we can actually go ahead and do a hovel victory. The guns are silent, the cannons are being polished, and the tanks stop moving. The soldiers are returning home. Add famine, civil war damage, revolting peasants. That sounds absolutely brilliant. I'm really going to love having all them. What the hell just happened to the production? Great, let me just bin that and hope that it's fixed. Nope. Yeah, I can't I can't see my guns now. For God. <laughs> okay, let's uh, restore the bread monopoly. Um and I'll probably just I'm just gonna leave that episode there so I can reload the save and hopefully have the production line fixed. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for back very soon for another episode. Till then, take care. Cheer bye. Then out.